Stack is one of the linear data structure. Q follows first in, first out. So it is going to follow the principle of last in, first out or first in, last out. That's what you need to remember whenever I say stack. NQ in the sense, insertion of an element inside the queue. DQ in the sense, deletion of an element from the queue. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session. So guys, so you, you would have seen my previous session in that I have discussed the basic concepts of arrays and also linked list. My dear students, in this session, I will be discussing something different and unique. So what is that I have in this session? Let's check. So I will be discussing about the stacks and queues. Sir, are you going to complete the entire stacks and queues in this session? No, I will be just introducing the topic to all of you, but I will be discussing this in depth in the coming sessions according to the syllabus. So let's start and understand what exactly stack is all about. So before I go to the stack, so let me just show you where exactly we stand in this different type of uh, data structure. Yes, we have discussed what is primitive data structure. So you all know that and we have started non-primitive data structure in the previous session. In that we have discussed what exactly arrays is all about and also I have discussed what exactly linked list. So now, so let's understand what exactly stacks and queues. If you want to understand what exactly stacks and queues, we have to understand or we have to start with lists. When it comes to the list, my dear students, we have something called linear list and non-linear list. So what exactly linear list and non-linear list, we have already discussed linear list in the sense you will be storing the data sequentially. You will be storing the data sequentially. What is the meaning of sequentially? Sir, one after the other, one after the other, you will be storing the data. That is what we call it as a linear list. So under the category of linear list, so we have something called stacks and queues. In this session, I will introduce all of you to the basic concept of stacks and queues. All right, in the next session, I will also speak about graphs and trees, okay? So let's start without wasting much of your time. So what exactly stack is all about? So please observe, stack is one of the linear data structure. So fine. The main thing that you need to understand with respect to the stack uh, is, uh, before I uh, come to this definitions, let me give you an interesting example to all of you to remember what exactly is that. Most of you like girls, right? So all the boys will like girls, okay? So the tradition, uh, what we used to follow in the olden days, girls used to wear bangles, correct? So just imagine a beautiful girl in front of you and that girl is wearing a bangle, all right? So let me illustrate this situation to all of you. Imagination is very important. Imagine a beautiful girl is standing in front of you. All right, so the girl is wearing the bangles, okay? So please don't imagine anything else. She's just wearing the bangles. She's taking the bangle and she's just wearing the bangle. So this is the first bangle. Observe my example. The first bangle is inserted now, okay? Second bangle, third bangle, fourth bangle. How many bangles we have? Four bangles. Now, I want to remove this first bangle. If I want to remove this first bangle, so what should I do? I have to remove the fourth bangle first, then third bangle first, and second bangle, and then the first bangle, correct? So you need to understand the principle. We are following the principle of first in, last out. Can you all repeat along with me? What is the principle that we are following? First in, last out, correct? So let me take up one more example. We have the cooker pawns. What is that we have? We have the cooker pawns. I want to remove the last pawn, okay? So which I have inserted first, okay? So what is the principle that you are following? So first in, last out. Imagine we have a CD stand, okay? So I'm placing the CDs in the stand, okay? Here also, we are using what? First in, last out. 
that's what you need to remember my dear students in all this example what is the common thing that you understood that is the only common thing that i have here is one end the insertion will happen at the only one end that's what you need to observe in this example let's come back to the stack so my dear students stack follows last in first out okay last in first out or first in last out both are same okay that's what you need to remember whenever i say stack so what is that you will remember so it is going to follow the principle of last in first out or first in last out that's what you need to remember whenever i say stack so fine stack contains different operations especially we use push and pop what is the meaning of push and what is the meaning of pop observe this is an empty stack what is this this is an empty stack so guys i want to insert an element inside the stack so if i want to insert any element inside the stack so i will perform which operation i will perform push operation i will perform push operation so that is what you need to observe in the second one so if i want to insert two what is the operation that i have to perform again i have to perform push operation so fine again i want to insert three what operation i have to perform again i have to perform push operation to insert three so my dear students i want all of you to notice one thing here observe first i am inserting one then after that i am inserting two observe here so your bangle example cd stand example so first i have inserted this above this i am inserting this two above this i am inserting three this is how you will be inserting the element one above the other and remember i have only one end to insert or to delete so if you want to insert any element what is the operation name that you will call you will call it as a push in the same way if i want to remove any element i will call that operation as pop i will call that as pop that is what you need to remember and my dear student if you want to remove any element from the stack always you will start removing the element from the top of the stack from the top of the stack imagine i am removing 3 so can you tell me after removing this 3 from the stack what will be the top element so obviously it is 2 top will be pointing to 2 correct so this is the basic knowledge that you should have with respect to the stack before we discuss this in detail all right so hope you understood how exactly we insert the element how exactly we delete the element from the stack and how we store the elements inside the stack all right so please remember the bangle example please remember the cd stand and the cooker punch all right so fine moving forward to the next topic that i have so we have discussed the linear list in that we have discussed the stacks the next one that we are going to discuss is all about the queues so let's understand what exactly queues is all about all of you uh, have seen the movie theaters right imagine we don't have book my show app okay so what do we do how do we purchase the tickets in the movie theater we stand in the queue right so you just imagine and understand the concept of the queue in front of the ticket booking counter the same concept we apply here also i repeat the concept that we have in front of the movie ticket booking center the same queue concept applies here so what is that so let me explain that come back so guys queue follows first in first out what is the principle it follows first in first out what is the meaning of it those who will come first inside the line so he will go out first that is what you need to remember opposite to the stack i repeat those who will enter the line first he will go out first that is what you need to remember that is the speciality of queue so even in queue we have insert and delete operation so but we will not call it as a push and pop but instead we will call that as a enqueue and dequeue 
So can you all guess what is the meaning of NQ? NQ in the sense, yes, you are right. NQ in the sense, insertion of an element inside the Q. DQ in the sense, deletion of an element from the Q. That's what you need to remember. How exactly it looks like? So, it exactly looks like this. It exactly looks like this. My dear students, you need to remember one more important thing. Can you tell me how many ends do we have for the operation in the stack? So we have only one end. Insertion and deletion will happen at the same end. But when it comes to the queue, we have to. What is that I need to remember? In this queue, always the insertion will happen in the rear end. Okay, this is what we call it as a rear end. And this is what we call it as a front end. Can you all guess? Insertion will happen at the which end? So you all know the example. Ticket counter Q. Okay. Insertion will happen at the rear end. And deletion will happen at the front end. That's what you need to remember. Okay. So this is what you need to remember with respect to the queues. And also we have different types of queues. Okay. So we have a circular queue. We have a doubly ended queue. A lot of different queues are there. And uh, we have uh, different operations that we perform on the queue. So all those things I will be discussing in detail with the implementation in the coming sessions. Okay. So till then, this is going to be the introduction session of uh, stacks and queues. Take care. Bye-bye and wait for my next session. Thank you.